You know, I've had experience with some crazy folks, and I think the crazy folks I've known, the ones that I really thought were crazy, had somehow made a conscious decision to go there. You know, to separate himself from the from the mainstream of life and just be whatever they were going to be, you know. His reality isn't the same as ours, you know. But this is a neighborhood that's like that. <laughs> Since the late 40s, people started living here, you know, off the grid. And, and there's been so many generations that are forgotten, and only a little about brief mention in a history book or something, you know, is all that's left of those people. Well, Leonard's left a, a mark that's going to last because he's part of what we've become here, you know. I was just told that there was some guy out in the desert painting a mountain with a cross on the top of it, and you could walk on the painting, and I'm going, ah, some other religious nut, you know, I didn't, didn't think anything about it. Got here, and I just couldn't believe it. One, and number two, I really couldn't believe that he's living in this little truck over here without electricity or running water since 1984. Well, he certainly made something that is striking and even somehow compelling to the the soul of the beholder, you know. So I guess that makes him an artist, you know. But that's just like his only work, you know. He's been doing it for 19 or 20 years, something, you know. If I get up maybe another eight feet, I'll, uh, I'll reinforce it with the uh, ropes. Because I'll be honest with you, I, I don't want to fall down from up there. <laughs> this is the one I think that I like best of all. But I don't want it all exactly the same anyway. When I get more co complete with it, that it'll just look like thousand stars way up in a blue sky heaven somewhere. I believe in, in years to come, that's going to be the knockout of the whole thing. Some people are cynical and attack him, and it rolls right off his back. He's had ministers and preachers try to come out here and do, do something, and he won't let them. So that, that's him. He's given me a different outlook much more, much more accepting and less judgmental. When I see a person that's taken such an isolated course in life, I always wonder, you know, what took you there, you know? That's the mystery about him, you know? What took you there? I feel that I feel that the mountain is is simply a manifestation of Leonard's passion for love and and his absolute attachment to the idea that love is the most important thing in the world for everyone. I don't go to church. I don't want to be a ham about this, but there is a universal love out there. Then I like to shut up about it because if I talk too much about it, I get in the way. Let's all love each other and keep it simple.